Hey guys, I am for real using a selfie stick to hold my camera for me right now while I film this. <laughs> has sucked this far. The last video I posted, I was in Nebraska um, visiting my family because we had just found out that my dad was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. Um, he has cancer in his esophagus and it spread to his liver and so I obviously dropped everything and went to go be with my family um, for at least a weekend and um, I'm going back in March to see them and to celebrate my dad's 60th birthday. So I'm excited about that. I'm pumped about that. Um, if you have not seen already on my Facebook page, me and my siblings decided to start a GoFundMe for my mom and my dad. Um, because right now my dad is working. Um, we don't know how long he is going to work for, um, how sick he's going to end up being once he starts radiation and chemo and stuff. Um, and I'll give updates on my the GoFundMe page as well. But if you want to go check that out, share it or donate. Um... I'm gonna, I'll post the link to his GoFundMe down in the um, description box. So you guys, please go click on that. Go check it out. Prayers are more than welcome, obviously. And um, definitely go and share it if you can. Go share the link um, anywhere with anyone that you can. Because um, that's how GoFundMe works. On the 21st, he's getting his port put in um, to start radiation and chemo. So we'll see how that goes. Um, that'll probably be updated on the GoFundMe as well. Anyways, so I don't really know, this last month has just been a blur, so I don't really know what I've told you guys about my last cycle or not. Um, I know there's a part of it that I haven't told you for sure, but, um, so last cycle, I couldn't be on Clomid, we didn't do anything, we just took a break, because I, that cyst, or that follicle that was really, really big, and I took the trigger shot, and it ruptured it, but there must have not been an egg in it, or it wasn't mature, or whatever, because it ended up not even ovulating from it. So, a week after that trigger shot, I started my period. And so, I went in for mon to start monitor Clomid, and that cyst that, that had ruptured from was still way too big um, to put me on Clomid, because it would overstimulate my follicles, and it might grow, and really, really hurt my ovaries. So, her option was to either go on birth control for two weeks and come back, or take 30 days off. I chose to take 30 days off only because I tried to be on birth control before me and Sean got married, um, and it just made me so depressed and crazy. I felt crazy, and I was just depressed, so I was like, I really don't want to feel like that. Clomid already kind of does that to me. If I get a month off, I'll just take a month off. So, I took 30 days off. And I ended up ovulating all on my own on cycle day 16. And I was having so many symptoms. My breasts were so, like, so tender, more than they have, like, ever been before. Um, I was cramping at the right times. Everything seemed good. And I wasn't getting a positive test. Um, and I was like, man, I just really feel like I know I'm pregnant. Like, I just feel pregnant. And um, I was like, man, nothing's happening. So... 12 days past ovulation happens and I got like this faint line and so I'm like oh my gosh it's there but it's faint and I'm pregnant again holy cow and so I took another test and it got a little bit darker and the next day so I got day 13 I started my period um and that was the Sunday before Valentine's Day and I was like are you kidding me but the tests were still positive and I was I knew it was just another miscarriage um and then by that evening the test was negative so I was like all right, I was I didn't even tell my doctor about it because there because it was it was like the I don't understand. So the doctor, you know, didn't want me trying after my last miscarriage because he wants your body to like replenish. But the thing is, it's so early that it's the time my period would have started anyway, and so my body would have replenished anyway. I, I don't know, so I just didn't tell them. And so um, they did a scan on cycle day three of this month. 
and everything my uterus like cleared out none of my ovaries had any cysts on them I had lots of good little follicles on them that could grow and so they started me on 50 milligrams of Clomid and so tonight will be my fourth night taking that and I'm, I take that for five nights so um, I really this time I, I mean I've been taking them at night like 10 o'clock at night and the last couple times I really haven't felt any like crazy symptoms but this time I can tell like I'm really kind of short fused and I can definitely feel my mood swings um, so I'm just trying to like control it um, so yeah there's that um, so that's kind of where I'm at on cycle day 12 I'm going to go in and get monitored again go and look at my ovaries and see if I have any good follicles and if I have good enough, big enough follicles, they will give me another trigger shot and will trigger my ovulation. And I should ovulate from those ones. Um, just because that one cycle that I didn't ovulate, it was wonky. It, I was on Clomid, but it was like a 40-something day cycle. And it was like already on cycle day 34 when we did the trigger shot. So it just wasn't probably a healthy follicle, even though it was so big. It could have probably just been a cyst. And maybe the trigger shot, uh, the trigger shot popped it. Hopefully, that's kind of cool. But, um... Anyway, new cycle. Um, I'm on cycle day six today. And so in six days, so next Thursday, I am going in to um, get monitored again see the trigger shot. So I'll update you guys on that. I'll take video of that and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. Um, we're doing okay. I, like I said, I get sad and then I'm okay and then I get sad and I'm okay. I didn't really even cry this last miscarriage because it didn't really feel real. I just knew because of the test was positive and I don't get pos those positive tests unless I'm pregnant. So that's the only reason why I knew. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even known. So I'm trying not to make a big deal of it. I did cry a little bit like me and Sean were playing around and all of a sudden I know I just started crying. And this was before the Clomid, so I knew that it was yeah, I was just being emotional. So all my hormones fluctuating and stuff. So... That's just kind of where we're at. It's a beautiful day here. It like hit 65 degrees. The sunlight is amazing. I'm using all natural light right now, which is great, but you can kind of see the glare my glasses, but whatever. I've gotten a few new subscribers since I haven't been posting for a month, and so I feel bad. So thank you for subscribing and staying with me through this. Um, that's awesome, um, even though I haven't posted in over a month. So I really appreciate that for you guys continuing on the journey with us. Be praying for my family. We're staying strong. We're staying positive. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I got. I'm in a good place right now. I'm I'm hopeful for the future now that we're kind of being more aggressive with the fertility stuff. Um, yeah, we're doing good. So just keep us in our prayers. Leave a comment below. Let me know that you were here, that you watched my video. Um, whether you comment on the Facebook post that I post with this link in it. Or if you comment on the actual YouTube platform. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being my prayer warriors and my support and my friends and my family. Um, I'm just excited that you're still on this journey with us. So, thanks guys. Bye.